What is up YouTube? Today I'm gonna go over the new ability system. Uh, what I think the best abilities to put on. As you guys know probably by now, on Tuesday they changed the AP to 15. Um, so I wanted to play a, 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 kind of a lot of games before I made a video. Um, so yeah, I probably played 15, 20 games. Um, and what I think the best abilities are, we got Lamar Jackson, so let's, let's go over what I think the best abilities are. Um, so I, I think the way the game's played now, you want a fast quarterback. Um, I think, I think that's the best way to play. Uh, so escape artists, I think escape artists is really good. And, um, obviously gunslinger's a must. And hot round master's good. For sure, you know, Gunslinger Hot Route Master. Now, I personally don't play with Hot Route Master. For me personally, I don't think... I think I have enough plays where they got built in, uh, you know, corners or posts that I don't I don't need it. Um, and then I, I threw Roaming Deadeye on. Because what I'm doing is, using Lamar, I'm rolling out. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm double teaming the outside guy. So I don't even, I'm not even using any blocking on my offensive lineman. Because I'm rolling out and I'm kind of canceling them out. But quarterback playmaker too much. Um, now if you're not going to use a scramble quarterback. If you're, if you're still going to use like Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. What I would recommend, let's see. We'll, we'll look at Drew Brees. We'll look at Drew Brees. What I would recommend doing, if you're going to pick between Rodgers or Favre, I would pick Rodgers. I mean, Favre. Pick Favre because he gets Gunslinger for one less. So you're going to save one, one AP. That's the only difference. They play exactly the same. They're really good. If you wanted to go with Field General, you get um, Protected. You get... You get an identifier for one, but you can get that on offensive lineman, and, and you can get inside that eye, which Brett Favre gets inside that eye, and Rodgers doesn't. So between Favre and Rodgers, I would definitely go Favre. But the way the game's playing, guys, I think we want scrambling quarterbacks. Uh, running the ball right now, stretch is not easy. They may stretch harder. I I I, I can't run the ball, guys. Like. I've noticed that like powers are solid, uh, like halfback counters out of trip side ends pretty nice, but like my eye wing stretch feels horrible right now. So for run backs abilities, um, balance beam's actually glitchy. I really like it, but unfortunately I don't have it on right now because I didn't have enough AP. Human joystick. I ran a game with human joystick and just offensive line abilities. Honestly, if you're playing someone bad, it makes you look crazy good. But if you're playing anyone who's decent at the game, who knows how to shoot gaps, human joystick is a waste. It's not worth it. Um, but yeah, so honestly, for run backs, I would just, you know, if you want to use abilities, backfield master. Um, I already said balance beam's pretty good. And that's about it. Um, if you guys want, you can test out, you guys can test out, um, Jukebox, because I have noticed Jukes seem to be better with this last update. Now on the wide receiver, I'm running Playmaker. I think that's really good. Now guys, Route Dex, they went up 1 AP. I honestly think that you guys don't need Route Dex, as people are not playing one step ahead anymore. So, I don't really think you guys need to attack because we're not facing man very much. Now, I will say, though, man defense is still not bad. Um, I think I think man defense is a good switch up. Like, play zone most of the time, but switch it up to man every once in a while. Because this still plays pretty good. But we are not seeing much man defense. So, I would not recommend running too many route attacks. Or any, honestly. I would run things like... D, uh, let's see, where is it? Deep, 
deep Adelie. That's what I would run, you know, something like that. And then for tight ends, you know, you got tight end apprentice. So right now I'm running, um, I'm running matchup nightmare. I had two AP left. I had two AP left, so I, I bought matchup nightmare. I love, dude, I love, uh, route take on Vernon, but it was too much. So we put matchup nightmare again. That's about it for the tight ends. So, so offense, this is what I'm running. I'll show you. I was just going over the best abilities. So offense, we're running uh, Lamar with Roaming Dead Eye, Escape Artist, and Gunslinger. Guys, like I said, I'm throwing a lot of corners a lot. So that's why I want Roaming Dead Eye. And then Vernon Match of Nightmare. And even though Playmaker's super expensive, guys, it's it's just so good. It's so good. Now, offensive linemen, I would recommend if you have... If you guys aren't rolling out of the pocket, put edge protectors. Make sure to at least have one and then double-team the other guy. It's it, like if you're using Brett Favre Rogers, someone who doesn't have 99 speed. But like I said, since I'm rolling out of the pocket, double-teaming, they're either containing, which the... So extra doesn't activate, or I'm rolling out and their extra don't do anything. So I personally don't need any offensive abilities the way I'm playing. But if you're going to stay in the pocket, make sure to put edge protector on because people are running a lot of edge threats out here. Um, other offensive alignment abilities, post up sucks. No, not post up. Uh, Polar Elite sucks. I ran it yesterday. It's terrible. So post up and, and edge protector are all, the only two I would use. Now on to the defense. I know a lot of people don't like to run extra at elite. But. But I honestly love it because. Even if you don't get in. There are so many times where I'm not even that close to a quarterback. And I get an under pressure throw. They get an under pressure throw. Like and my guy's like not even close. It's crazy. I'll get under pressure throw. Easy interception. So I love running two extra at elites. If, if we look at the power rusher, something to keep in mind, Enforcer, this Enforcer, does he not get the flighter? So he doesn't get the flighter. If a guy gets the flighter and Enforcer, that's, for, that's a pretty glitchy combination. I'll get to that later, but no outsiders for 1 AP is pretty good. Um, other than that, I wouldn't recommend really running anything else. Make sure, though, guys, like, if you want to run no outsiders, make sure you get it for a guy who only gets it for one AP. Like, let's look at Sam Mills real quick. See, he gets, he only gets Enforcer for one. And then he does also get Deflator. But, like, some linebackers... Enforcers too. So the most important thing you guys can do is make sure you're using the right archetype so you can get the most ability points out of everyone. So for like example, for Derwin James, for James, I'm running, I'm running pick artist, enforcer, and deflator, and he's my user. So anytime I hit, hit six on, I have a good chance of forcing a fumble. Plus I'm getting glitchy picks with pick artists. Guys, if you haven't ran pick artist this year. If you have an extra AP, I would recommend throwing a pick artist on your user. Because it is really, really good. Some other abilities that are good. Acro's not bad, but only running on your corners. 3 AP is way too much. Um, Strip Specialist isn't terrible. If you want to play man, bench press is probably the way to go. Lur Lurker's not bad now. Lurker, if you can get it for like one, two AP, Lurker's pretty good. Enforcer, Enforcer, Deflator combo's good. So I would definitely re uh, recommend looking at something like Edge Rats, Lurker, Enforcer. And then the final thing I'd recommend is Inside Stuff. I got Inside Stuff on JJ. Um, you can, you can run like, 
KOs too. KOs aren't bad. Um, what else? There's, I know I'm forgetting about something. Yeah, KOs are good. So if we look at what I'm running here for abilities, I got Extra Elite, Extra Elite, Pig Artist, Enforcer, Deflator on Derwin, and I got Inside Stuff. Oh, yeah, well, what I wanted, what I wanted uh, to remind you guys, to tell you guys, Inside Stuff on CML, so on your middle linebacker, anybody who would play the sub linebacker spot is an absolute glitch. They're throwing guys left and right. So let's see. So he gets it for two. It, yeah, it works better on your linebacker than it works on your lineman. The only problem I have with it is, although linebackers are playing so much better since the update, you can actually use your linebackers. I personally still want to use Derwin James and Eric Berry at linebacker, so I'm not going to do it. But if you... If you want the best inside stuff possible, put it on Sam Mills. Put uh, inside stuff on Mills and and Lurker. You what you can do is you can put you really can put Enforcer, Lurker, and inside stuff on Mills. And Sam Mills would actually be really good because these guys are actually jumping now, like they're actually usable. But like I said, I would still rather use James and Eric Berry. Um, but yeah, so, in my opinion, the way the game's playing now, I think fast quarterbacks is the way to go. Um, people are putting everyone back in coverage. Running's kind of hard, like actually an empty run back, but you can roll with your quarterback, rule out corners. I honestly think that's the best way to play the game right now. And on the defensive side... I would recommend mostly playing in zone, but every once in a while, mix it up, man. Throw, throw Enforcer, Lurker, Deflator combo, or two extra elites and inside stuff. That's what I would recommend personally. Um, other than that, guys, we got at 7.30 tonight, guys, over on EA, they're going to be uh, revealing a promo. It's the Sugar Rush promo, aka the Easter promo. That's probably going to be dropping tomorrow, would be my guess. So tomorrow we'll probably have that. If there's anything I need to go over, I will go over it tomorrow, guys. Don't worry. But these are the best abilities, in my opinion, in the game. So this is what I'm rocking with. If the video helped you, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, guys. We are close to 300 subscribers. Your support is amazing. I love you guys. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow with the Easter promo.